The Master Ball is coming very soon to Pokemon Go, and with it you'll have the ability to catch any Pokemon that you want. But seeing that we're only getting one Master Ball right now, you might be a little conflicted on what to use it on. Now in order for you to get your first ever Master Ball in Pokemon Go, you have to complete this special research right over here, which is the Let's Go research. At this current moment, we can't progress any further than page 4 of 6, but once May 22nd rolls around, which is this upcoming Monday, you'll be able to progress further. And as of right now, we don't know what we're going to have to do in order to get the Master Ball, seeing that there's only two pages left. And more than likely, the sixth page is probably going to be auto-completed. But if we look at the main series games, we might have a hint. In Pokemon Red and Blue, we had to fight Giovanni and the Sylph Corporation, and once we defeated Giovanni, the owner of the Sylph Corporation gifts you a Master Ball. So I could see them giving us a Super Rocket Radar to fight Giovanni. The only downside to this is that currently he has Shadow Regice, so hopefully they'll give him like a Shadow Mewtwo or something like that just to switch it up a little bit, or they might not have us do that at all. But once you receive your Master Ball, you can use it wherever you you want. If it's a wild spawn, say it's off of your daily incense, or perhaps even out of a raid, they did say that you could use them in raids as well. Which means the possibilities of you using this ball are pretty much limitless. Now from what I've seen, most people's reactions were finally I get to catch a Galarian bird. And if you use your daily incense as much as I do, which is pretty much every single day, you've probably become accustomed to seeing this happen. And it's not the greatest feeling, is it? Seeing Galarian birds run just sucks, and I've seen it happen a lot. But now that you have the Master Ball, you can guaranteed catch any one of the three Galarian birds, but before you do it, I will warn you about one little thing. As you can see right here, I've been very fortunate and I've been able to catch five Galarian birds, but if we took a look at their IVs real quick, most of them have pretty bad ones. That one's actually pretty decent. But if we keep moving on from the Articuno and move on a little bit more, as you can just see here that they all have pretty bad IVs. So in the end of the day, yes, you can guarantee catch one of these things, but there is a decent chance that it's going to have bad IVs, so that's going to be a gamble that you're going to have to come to terms with. And another thing I'd like to note is that the Daily Incense came out on July 25th, I believe. It was the day after the Seattle Go Fest, and that's only about two months away, really, and I could definitely see them introducing the shiny Galarian birds once the year anniversary happens. And I know that you're probably thinking that, oh, well, they're going to be shiny, so probably they're going to be guaranteed catches, right? And I would agree with you, that would probably be the case, but but there is a decent chance that they might also make it that these ones could possibly run. And if that's the case, having a Master Ball would be perfect because a shiny Galarian bird is going to be much rarer than a normal Galarian bird. But of course, we don't know how it's going to work until they actually come out. They might just make these auto catches, which would be really nice seeing that they are rare as it is. So that would be pretty cool. But you never know with these things. Another thing you could use this Master Ball on is legendary Pokemon. Again, you can use these in raids. And let's just say you get yourself a 100% legendary. Legendary. 100% are not guaranteed catches. You have a decent chance of catching them if you have a lot of balls, but even in the end of the day, it could still run. So one thing I would recommend is use every single ball until you get to the last ball, and if you really want it, say like it's a 100% Mewtwo or a Rayquaza or just something really meta relevant, you could choose to use the Master Ball on it and have that guaranteed catch. The odds of getting a 100% Legendary from a Legendary Raid is about a 1 in 216 odd chance of happening, which is a decent odd, but that also means within 216 raids you have the possibility of it. That doesn't mean within 216 raids you're going to get one. You could go thousands of raids without seeing a hundo. And to make it even worse, let's say you're doing a mythical raid, so like Darkrai or something like that, and you get that hundo. Again, very rare to even get the hundo in the first place. And another point is that when we have our mythical raids, like Darkrai and Genesect, whenever you get a hundo of that, that's even more rare because you can't even trade for those. So you might want to hold on to that Master Ball until you get that one raid that gives you just that perfect legendary or mythical Pokemon that you just cannot catch, but then with your final ball, you just throw the Master Ball and guaranteed catch it anyways. But I definitely want to reiterate that you should use every single one of your Premier Balls until you get to the last one, because you never know, you could catch it. You might as well not waste the Master Ball just in case you would have caught it anyways. And speaking of legendary raids, we're going to be getting Shadow Legendary Raids very soon to the game, and if you know anything about Shadow Pokemon, they are very aggressive. Pretty much every other second, they're either going to be attacking or jumping, and more than likely, you're going to miss a throw here and there. And to make things worse, we're not even getting a team bonus on these Premier Balls, so we're going to get less Premier Balls, though I do believe we're probably going to get ourselves the Purifier Medal on that thing. It works for the Grunts and the Leaders and Giovanni, so I would imagine that Shadow Raids would also incorporate that. But even still, that means we're going to have even less Premier Balls than we're used to. And if you get a 100% Shadow Mewtwo, I highly suggest you using the Master Ball on it if you've used every single ball into your last one, because a 100% Shadow Mewtwo is ridiculously good. It is 
is currently the best Pokemon in all of Pokemon Go by a long shot. The only thing that's going to beat it is Mega Mewtwo in the future. And just like Mythicals, Shadow Pokemon cannot be traded whatsoever. So if you get a 100% Shadow Mewtwo and you've used every single ball into your last one, you might want to use that Master Ball because a 100% Shadow Mewtwo is one of the most useful things in this game, period. I'm sure a few of you are going to be very hesitant on what you use your Master Ball on because obviously you're only getting one right now and once you use it, it's gone forever. But on the article about the Master Ball, Niantic specifically did say that there will be future opportunities to get more of them. So once you use the one, you're not done with them forever. You're just done with the one that you were given forever. And we don't know how frequently these are going to show up. They might show up once every maybe season. They could also do it once or twice a year. They might do it for in-person events. Obviously, we have no idea about that right now. But you will be getting more Master Balls in the future. So don't be too hesitant to use it. You're probably going to get another one sooner than you think. But let me know in the comments down below what you're planning to use your Master Ball on. You're going to use it on a Galarian bird, perhaps maybe a Hundo Mythical, maybe even a Bidoof. Please let me know. And also let me know in the comments down below, what do you think I should use my Master Ball on? Seeing I have all the Galarian birds right now, do you think I should hold off and wait, or do you think I should use it on something else? Let me know as well. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video, and if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see even more of it, I highly suggest this video right over here. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.